Hi, it's time for another math easy solution uh, to discuss further into polar coordinates and now look at tangents to polar curves. It's going to be a very interesting video and involves parametric curves and calculus. So make sure to watch uh, those videos in my earlier videos. I'll put those in the description below, so check those out. So let's jump right in. So to find a tangent line to a polar curve, r equals uh, f of theta, or is a function of theta, we regard theta as a parameter and write its parametric equations as follows, but before I get to that, what I mean by this is we want to write this in terms of parametric equations or or first of all what we'll do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an x, y uh, coordinate, just a re regular um, Cartesian coordinate system. And I'm going to superimpose the polar curve, so let's say we had, this is the origin right here, right O, and let's say we have a point here where the distance is r. So at this point, and then the angle across here, so we're superimposing a polar curve onto a uh, just a regular Cartesian coordinates as well. So this is at theta is equal to zero, this is this polar axis. This is going to be the angle uh, theta, and now we have r theta like that. And what we want to do is find a tangent line to this curve, for example, if it goes somewhere like this, etc., then let's say we want to find this point, the tangent line, that is just a uh, draw line tangent to this and the slope right here or that's just a derivative here. So the, the point here is dy over dx is the tangent line across that point. Yeah, so in order to write this as dy over dx, we need to write uh, dy over dx in terms of r and theta. And to do that, we could write its parametric equations and using this theta as a parameter. And we can do that recall where if we just draw a right angle across like here, at this point here, this could also be, yeah, this could, I'll just erase this part. So let's say at this point here, the distance is a random point x, and this distance is, is a random point y. So what we have is x like here, and this is y uh, across the height there. So again, recall before, if you just take a trigonomic uh, ratio here, sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, y over r. And then cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, x over r, like that. So that is what we have. Yeah, so now what we can do now is, well, now we have a parametric equation. We could write y and x in terms of uh, theta and r, uh, or this theta is going to be our parameter. And that's because r is a function of theta, like that. That's the polar curve that we are given. So what we ha end up having is, if we just rearrange this, move this to the left, move this to the left, we have y equals to r sine theta, and x equals to r cosine theta, and then this equals to all well, the r, those are just functions of theta. So f of theta times sine theta. So now we have at y and x are both functions of this parameter theta right here. And this is going to be f of theta uh, cosine of theta. And now to find out dy over dx, well then using the method for finding slopes of parametric curves, because now that we've written them in parametric form right here, draw a better box like that. Uh, see my earlier video, I'll put that in the link below. A and the product rule, where we could use uh, the, the same method to find slope of parametric curves, as well as the product rule, what we end up having is, well again, recall that the for parametric equations, the the slope dy over dx, or the derivative, is equal to dy over the parameter d, uh, d theta now, and then this part is dx over d theta, because that is our parameter. And again, this is if uh, the bottom is not equal to zero, so dx over d theta is not equal to zero, so you don't have a divided by zero, which is undefined. Yes, yeah, so then this part equals two, well, we could just take the derivative of this part, or I'll just plug in the y, so d over d theta of, and I'll plug this inside, is this better? So this, like this, and then this is going to be uh, r, I'll just write r sine theta, yeah, where r is just a function of theta, I'll just write this as r like this, and then we have to take the derivative of the bottom part, d over d theta of r cosine theta. 
And then when we take the derivative, we'll are obviously gonna use the product rule. And remember the product rule, we take the derivative of this one first. That's gonna be dr over d theta, and then times it by, well, just this sign. And then we plus r, and then now the, the, the derivative of sine theta, which is cosine theta, like that. And then the uh, derivative right here, same thing, uh, product rule here, we have dr over d theta, and now we have uh, right here, this is gonna be cosine theta, and then the derivative of cosine theta is, is negative sine theta, but then we need, need to include the r, so let's write this theta, minus r sine theta, like that, and there is our answer right here. So we could simplify it up to this point, that's our dy over dx, and that's our slope. And now if we were to find, let's say, horizontal tangents, whoops, so if we were to find horizontal tangents, uh, what we could do is well, you just need to locate uh, horizontal tangents by finding the points where dy over d theta is equal to zero because a uh, horizontal tangent is just when dy over dx is zero. So that's true when this the top part is zero. So if that's zero, then we have the whole thing zero. So we just need to find where this is zero, again, provided that the bottom dx over d theta is not equal to zero. So you don't have a undefined. And notice that if we were looking for tangent lines at the pole, that's at the origin, uh, just for, in case you didn't know. So then r equals to zero, and the above equation simplifies two. So if we have that equation, we have dy over dx equals two. And now if we plug in r is equal to zero, because remember, our, the origin is when a distance is just zero. So if r is equal to zero, we just have it at the origin right there. So then this goes to zero, what we end up having is dr, uh, what is this, cosine, yes, sine, um, dr over d theta, sine theta over dr over d theta, cosine theta. And that's because this just goes to zero, r cosine and r sine, because the r is zero. So then this cancels, and we're left with, well, sine theta, over cosine theta, which is equal to tan theta by definition. But again, this is if uh, if d, uh, dr over d theta is not equal to zero. So yeah, the, for dx over d theta can't be over uh, equal to zero for the overall, but also over here. So this can't be equal to zero because otherwise you're going to be dividing by zero and you're gonna to go to infinity. So again, this is for this case. So dr over d theta. Yeah, so you can't just cancel if it's equal to zero. Like that is undefined. Now to revisit my earlier example, for instance, in example eight, we found that the polar curve r equals to cosine two theta. Well, first of all, it looks like this uh, four-leafed rose. This is from my earlier video. So this equals to zero when theta equals to pi over four or three pi over four. This angle uh, across all the way there. This is three pi over four. I forgot to write that. So what this means is that the lines theta equals to pi over four. So this line for every angle um, this is going to be pi over 4. So if the angle is pi over 4 always for whatever distance r, you're going to get this straight line. So you can just write a line like that. And also for theta equals to 3 pi over 4, that's this line across all the way here. 3 pi over 4. These are tangent lines to the polar curve r equals cosine 2 theta at the origin right across here. So these lines go straight across and those are tangent lines and that is because and that's because uh, of theta is equal to, well the value of theta there we get r equals to zero at the origin. And that is in fact a straight line and also you could take this further note that you could write these in terms of just uh, x, y uh, functions, for example, of theta equals pi over four, tan of pi over four, which is the slope, is going to be, well, this just equals to one. This is because that's just a uh, 45 degrees angle. So in degrees, it's 45. Just for a quick reference, if you had a square like this, where all the sides are one, 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 this is 90 degrees or pi over two. Split this down the middle, you get this uh, pi over four, and now what we have is, well, tan 
of pi over four equals to one over one equals to one. So if that's equal to one, then if we were to write this as uh, on an x, y axis, if this is x, this is y, and let's just draw a line with angle across here as pi over four. If it's pi over four, then at this point here, if this is the y, the, the vertical length y and horizontal length x, like that, then tan of pi over four equals to one, which equals to, well, opposite over adjacent, y over x, like that. So all we do is rearrange this across. We end up getting y equals to, well, x. So this line is, in fact, y equals to x, or you could write it in polar coordinates, uh, theta equals to pi over four. And likewise, for the three pi over four, if we were to go all the way across here as three pi over four. Yeah, if you look at this, this is just uh, three quarters. This is pi over four. Yeah, that's over there. So remember, this whole thing has to equal to pi. So from here to here is three pi over four, and the uh, full 180 degrees is just pi. So then this needs to be, well, pi over four. So this is perfectly symmetric, and what we end up having is a line across here. This is just the same thing, but negative y like that, and then we'll just have the negative version of it, and this is just y equals to negative x like that. So you could write this as y equals to negative x, and this one uh, as uh, y equals to x in, in a Cartesian coordinates, or polar coordinates like that. Anyways, that is all for today. Just wanted to show that. It's pretty cool. Uh, you could um, uh, yeah, just work around with parametric equations on polar uh, coordinate curves. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, like always, you can download these exact notes. And yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.